Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to do the Harry Potter book tag. Let's get started. The first question is, what is your favorite book? And I'm going to pick two of them. I'm going to pick Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and I'm also going to have to pick Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The next question is, what is your favorite movie? Again, this is a tie between two, and I'm going to have to pick Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. For the next question, it is, what is your least favorite book? And that's really simple for me. That would be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The next question is, what part of the books or movies made you cry? Honestly, there were several parts, but just to give you one, it would be when Dobby died. It was so sad, and I was just like bawling. Tears were going everywhere. I was crying in the river, and people are like, what's wrong with you? I was like, you don't understand, Dobby just died. I'm sitting in the theater and I'm like bawling. And to this day, every time I see that part where Dobby dies, it's just waterworks. So that is just one of the many times that Harry Potter made me cry. That's probably the most severe is when Dobby dies. Next question is, if you could hook up with any Harry Potter character, who would it be? Okay, I have three answers for that one because I cannot pick one. Draco Malfoy. Victor Crumb and Oliver Wood. Any of those three would be just fine with me. So, there you go. The next question is, who is your favorite character? Again, I cannot just pick one, so I'm gonna have to go with Dumbledore and Ginny Weasley. I love both of them and they are just my favorite. The next question is, what would your Patronus be? Honestly, I have no idea what my Patronus would be. Um, I used to really like owls. I used to collect little cute owls. Um, so I guess I would have to say an owl. Maybe a fox. I like foxes. I have no idea. So, comment down below what you think my Patronus would be. The next question is, would you rather have the Resurrection Stone, the Invisibility Cloak, or the Elder Wand. Well guys, I already have the Invisibility Cloak, so I don't know. Maybe the Elder Wand would be cool? Okay, let's be real here. My answer would definitely be the Cloak of Invisibility. How cool would that be? Like, out of the three, that is by far the best one. You can be invisible. You could play pranks on people, and you could walk around places you're not supposed to be at, and all that sorts of stuff. The Cloak of Invisibility would just be so useful. So I'm picking that one. The next question is, what house are you in? I have taken pretty much every single quiz out there. I've taken the Pottermore quiz, quizzes online, and everything. And every single one of them says I am a Slytherin. So I'm going to go with Slytherin. Um, it's one of my favorite houses. My two favorites are Slytherin and Gryffindor. But I just like Slytherin more. No, that does not make me evil. Not all Slytherins are evil and mean. But I just really like Slytherin. The next question is, if you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? Okay, so again for that one, I have two choices that I would pick. I would pick Emma Watson or Tom Felton. If I met both of them or even more of the cast, that would be great. But those two would be the two I would want to meet first if I had the option. This question is... Would you play Quidditch? If so, which position would you want to play? If I played Quidditch, which yes, I would try my best to play Quidditch because who wouldn't want to play Quidditch? I would want to be a chaser probably because I don't know, I just really like the chasers. I think they're cool. And so I would want to be a chaser. That is the end of the Harry Potter book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do this tag, comment the link below so I can go check it out. And yeah, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to also subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!